Good morning, Team America. This is for all of us who get up in the morning really early to have our coffee. Oh, so good. Well, another episode of the show. We're down to less than a week till we find out when Trump takes over again as president. Um, I feel very confident about it because a lot of crazy shit's starting to happen. People starting to panic, you know, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh. People are just really starting to panic now and start, you know, I guess they figure, well, you know, I got one more good night of riot left us to loot some shit. Let's do it now before the president's thing over because once Trump takes over again, this whole shit's gonna die. It's true. You know, all this, uh, you know, reducing the police force and defunding police and all this bullshit, it's gonna come to a stop eventually. People are getting tired of it. Americans are tired of it, tired of it. And it's obvious where their work's come from, obvious. But you know, the one thing that amazes me is that <clears throat> I just brought it up yesterday that there's a hurricane hitting Louisiana and the Black Lives Matter movement is already in Philadelphia. They're already in Philadelphia, burning and pillaging. Hmm. It's amazing. It's like they, they knew when to be there. Oh, don't go to Louisiana, man. The real stuff's happening in Philadelphia. Boy, <clears throat> Trump had nothing to do with it. But uh, another another bit of exciting news is that Biden's son is in deep hot water. Yeah, yeah, we all knew it all along. Everybody knew it. Even the people that are voting for Biden, they knew it. And now the inside person that kind of put a lot of things together for the Bidens has come out, a whistleblower, the whistleblower for the Biden team has come out and, you know, he's saying, yeah, yeah, Biden colluded with the Chinese all the time. Really? Would have never thought that. Organized crime, right in front of everyone's face. Right in front of everyone's face but no one wants to do anything about it or admit it or anything. Yeah. It just took a couple of months for it to come. I'm still waiting for the Kamala sex tape. I called it. I think it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And uh, not that it really matters because, you know, like I said, everybody's made their own sex tapes at one time or another, right? But her sex tape will be a whole lot better because, you know, you won't get to see it. It'll be out. It'll come out, but you'll never be able to see it. So, good morning to all you outstanding American people who actually went out and voted. Very proud of you. Doesn't matter who you voted for. You did your, your patriotic duty and voted for whoever you wanted. It doesn't matter. This is to all you who actually went out and did it early. Because in the end, that's what it's all about. You have a right to do it, and you got out there and did it. And it doesn't matter if you're party one or not, it's all the smaller offices that matter the most. And uh, some of my friends that are in Democrats have actually told me they didn't vote for, they did not vote for Trump, but they also didn't vote for some of the Democrats in their local areas because they know that their places are run like shit. There's some states and cities that are being run by the by the blue and it's not so good. And they are like, I didn't vote for any of that crap because there's gotta be a change. And I think it's gonna happen. I think the numbers are gonna be so close in each state. And, you know, and, it's, and it's good that there are some judges that are saying, no, no, we're not closing the polls until all the votes are counted. That's great because I think that might switch over like states like California to go red. Because, you know, California is a beautiful place. I was there in the 90s in San Diego. It's beautiful, beautiful place. Beaches, 
and the people real nice and just a great place to be. How could you not like to be there? Then you find out what's actually happening in the state and they got power rollouts and all this stuff and just, man, it's just a big mess. You don't be involved in all that shit. None of that crap. You know, you go to San Francisco and people are shitting all over the streets. <sighs> Disgusting. And it's Nancy Pelosi's backyard, you know? Not this, she actually, you know, is near the backyard, but it's, it's there. And, you know, she's, she's such a, a liar. A cock-a-poo-poo liar. And, you know, her time, you know, if, if she doesn't get, uh, if Trump wins and, you know, they lose the House and the Republicans take over, she says she's going to retire. But if the Democrats win, she's running for that position again. Oh, yeah, well. I think her days are numbered. I don't think she knows it. And uh, <clears throat> I think the one thing that she's going to do to fuck everyone over is to, you know, pass that bill at the last moment when she finds out she's out. And it's going to fuck a lot of the people, a lot of people. And, you know, it doesn't matter then, right? It doesn't matter at all. I voted. I thought my vote was going to count. When I voted for her, I thought, you know, I thought it was going to count. And she fucked us over. And I'm going to be like, well... You weren't watching my show. You weren't listening to anybody telling you what was going on. <clears throat> this stuff was right there in front of your face the whole time. Joe Biden and his son doing all that crazy shit. <sighs> it was right there in front of you the whole time. And now you're starting to see it. Now you're starting to believe, well, well maybe maybe the whistleblower is a, he, maybe he's in collusion with the Russians. No, no. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I thought I figured this all out. I don't know. I thought it was going to be easy for us. No. No. Because right towards the end, you start finding out who is what and what is who. And it sucks. It really does. And I keep, you know, keep hearing that term, the lesser of two evils. Man, you have no idea what the term of lesser of two evils is. You know, you hate a guy because of the color of his skin. And I think that's why Trump, when he... When he does the suntan thing, he says, make it more orange. I want people to make fun of my skin color. Because people make fun of skin color all the time. That's part of being prejudiced. Not racist, prejudice. So he's proven that everyone is the same way. Doesn't matter if you're black, orange, green, blue, white, whatever, doesn't matter. Notice I didn't say red. But, you know, it's time for America to grow the fuck up. Gotta get out of this. We gotta get out of this mess. We, we got to become better people than this. Everybody does, you know. And you know, November's right around the corner. We got Halloween this Friday on a Friday, and then we'll be anointing the new, we'll, we'll be anointing President Trump again. And yes, I think I'll I'll extend the show a little bit longer after that so I can go. Told you so. And we can go from there. So one more big salute for everybody. Um, new flavor today. Um, it's, it's, it's spice pumpkin, but with uh, pound, uh, pound bread or um, pound bread? with pecans. It's really weird, but... Oh, it's so good. It's so good, but... Anyway, have a great Wednesday. That's what it is today. Hump day! Mike, 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 right? It's hump day. Get to work. You're rolling over that weekend. Bring your up and go, arm up and go, Team America, baby. Team America is here. If you haven't done it, get out there and do your God-given duty and vote for whoever you want. Because at this point, it doesn't matter. But at least put your vote out so you'll count for something. So for Team America, this is Dave signing off. God bless you. I love you. we got Halloween right around the corner. we got Christmas coming up. Oh, man. Christmas. Christmas. I'll chat with you later.